Hey everybody, I just wanted to come on here and talk about the whole uh, Trayvon Martin situation and um, uh, so basically I'm not gonna, I mean, fill you in on the details of the case because uh, we all know what's going on and if you don't just Google it, I mean there's so much information to to read, so many tapes to listen to and all that stuff, so get your fix and what I want to talk about is um, uh, this week there's been a lot of people um, saying really, really horrible things about Trayvon, and, um, it's just, there's so many people on Fox News saying that, you know, he shouldn't have been wearing a hoodie, like, it's irresponsible to let your kid go out and wear a hoodie, like, that's absolutely ridiculous. There's so many people saying that what he did actually wasn't even illegal because of the stand your ground law, which is totally inaccurate, um, and there's so many people who are saying that the police actually did do the do the full investigation when really they didn't investigate uh, the murderer at all. All they did was do a toxicology report on Trayvon, the victim, but they didn't do a toxicology report on the actual murderer. Um, <coughs> so um, this has been really, really bothering me, and um, and I just can't help but think that the question that they're trying to bring up in the media is, did Trayvon Martin deserve to die? And I just feel like that's so inappropriate and it's so ridiculous because, I mean, nobody, he, they, they keep saying things like, oh, well, um, Trayvon was found with uh, traces of marijuana in his knapsack and was suspended from school for 10 days. Like, oh, so that means that he deserves to be shot in the chest and killed by some obviously racist, obviously sociopathic, fucking insane individual? He deserves to be murdered for that? I mean, that's just absolutely fucking ridiculous. And then they say that he was tall, so he could defend himself and he could have been the aggressor. First of all, we already know that Zimmerman was the one following him, so anything that Trayvon did to him would have been in self-defense because the guy is following him in a car with a gun. Like... I mean, it's it doesn't it doesn't connect for them that that's obviously self defense if Trayvon did anything which we don't know that he even did. I mean, it's just so obvious. I don't understand how they don't get it, and I just been thinking about why they continually try to cover this, why they're continually covering this story in that light and saying all these horrible things about Trayvon, and I can't help but go back to the race angle because if this was a young white person, a young white male, or um, more I mean, more likely a young white female, an attractive young white female, there is no way in hell that that guy would not be arrested. There's no way in hell that he wouldn't be in jail. I'm sorry, that that's absolutely ridiculous to even, to even suggest that that's possible. There's no fucking way ever. There's no way that would happen, especially if Zimmerman was black. And, um... I mean, I just can't... I just find it so sickening that, that these people are allowing, um commentators to come on the air and say such horrible, sickening things like that. Like, what's the point of saying that? What's the point of saying all these bad things about him? There's nothing that you can say that excuses the murder. There's nothing that you can say that makes people go, oh, well, he deserved to die. I mean, unless they're fucking racist assholes. And, I mean, there's so many people who are saying that uh, it's not racially motivated, but it obviously is. Clearly on the tape he says, fucking coons. He says, they always get away, okay? He's following him. He has reported, uh, he has called the police, the, the police department 46 times, I think, since the beginning of the year. And he commonly reports African-American individuals in his neighborhood uh, to the police department. So what does that tell you? That doesn't tell you that it's racially motivated because I think it's <laughs> pretty fucking obvious to me. Uh, seasonal allergies. But yeah, I just can't help but think about um, what Trayvon's family is going through and, um, and I mean, the fact that they'll never see their son alive again and, and then you have these people on television talking about how he deserved to die or at least alluding to that possible statement or argument. And it's just, it's just fucking sickening to me and I can't even believe that this is allowed to be on television. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And um, I just wanted to know what what everybody else thought about it, so feel free to leave a comment or video response.